Hello, brethren. You're welcome to today's edition. I'm going to use this opportunity to pray for all my viewers all over the world. If it's your first time of coming across my channels, I would encourage you to subscribe. Do me a favor by subscribing, and that your life will never be the same because here we are eye openers. We're teaching the people the way of the Lord. I have taken it upon myself as well as you have your Bible. We study the scripture together. So I'm going to talk about the general superintendent of deeper life wf kumuyi pastor wf kumuyi what he, he cautioned his uh, congregation and in his teaching his message that they should not speak about the government of the day about uh, the government of uh, muhammad buhari and uh, the vice president uh, Banjo. so today i'm going to talk about it and to expatiate on these points let's first and foremost look into the scripture into romans chapter 13 verse 1 let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is there is no power but of god the powers that are being ordained of god whosoever therefore resisted the power Resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to their self damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Without them not be afraid of the power, do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word of God, my people. It is very good to read the scripture. We're not going to read only verse 1 and stop, or verse 2, we stop. We read all through to know what the Bible is talking about. The most, the problem most people have, all these uh, uh, general overseers or general superintendents have, they read only particular verse, they stop, and they conclude, they, they, they take the conclusion only from the verses. How can every, everybody's eye is open to see the evil that being perpetuated, the killings and the slaughtering made by the herdsmen, kidnappers and robbers in that country. There is no security, my people. The poor are living in fear. The poor are being subjected to a total fear. They are being kidnapped. They are being massacred. They are being killed. Imagine a poor man who does not have a job being kidnapped and asked to call money. If he could not call the money, he would be killed. But I want to remind Kumui that in his own part, he's a, a great preacher all over the world. He's recognized as one of the best uh, preachers in our time. But at, at the same time, if he's reading the scripture, he should also be cautious to read exactly other parts of the scripture before I before jumping to a conclusion. You can't tell your members that they should not talk uh, evil about the dignities about the government, that it is God that ordained that government. The government, the Bible will explain to us what is going on. You yourself have seen what is going on. Who will speak out, my people? Who will tell the herdsmen to stop killing? The government has not addressed the issue of the herdsmen. They did not tag the uh, the herdsmen terrorists, but the world. They have tasked, they have tagged the 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 terrorist the the herdsmen a terrorist group, but the Nigerian government failed to do that. They failed to protect their subject. They failed to protect the killings that are going on. What are we talking about? Is the uh, WF Pastor WF? Can we not see all? what is going on the oppression of the poor how the poor are suffering in that country in his own case he's going with nigerian police and the soldiers escort they're escorting him they're protecting him he doesn't care about the poor these are the people we call our leaders these are the people we hold at a very high esteem and we are, we are, we are worshiping them calling them Baba, calling them whatever name, superintendent, this and that. But this is a man. If the, 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 the vo the, his voice can be heard by the world, but they hold their peace because they are living comfortable. The government favored them. 
after all the pours, after working, we come to pay their tithes and their with their offering the church is booming and the established he, he has a his university he has the establishment here and there he doesn't care what about the poor masses what about those who are patchy who are beyond average who cannot afford three square meal a day Kumui, are you not in a position to speak out to these people how can you read only verse one and verse 2 of this chapter, Roman chapter 13, and you make your conclusion, and you just jump to a conclusion like that. It is too bad. No power but of God, the power that be ordained of God. In verse 2, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive this to the self damnation. You concluded at that. What about verse 3? Do you come out to read verse 3, W.F. Kumoyi? Do you come out to read verse 3 of this chapter in verse 3? For rulers are not a terror to good works. Do you see it? Rulers are not terror. Where you have rulers as a terror, you will see going to bad down for the terror to be for the terrorists to be terrorizing your people. We should not just read a, a, a particular verse and we take up and, and we take up a conclusion you read here for rulers are not terror he's talking about rulers who are not terror but when a ruler become a tranny a terror to his people should that government be honored can't somebody speak out we see what is going on in the bible are we not a bible student when the rulers turn out to be terrorists to the people, who are the people that speak at? Are they not the prophets? Mike, Micah in his time did not speak out against the government, the bad government. Who said didn't he speak up against the bad government? Jeremiah didn't he speak out against the bad government? When the people, when they see that the government is terror to the people, are you going to leave a government that does not care for his people? When a government that oppresses these people, I will not speak up because it is God that place God do not place anyone to terrorize the poor. The poor that Jesus Christ came to protect. The poor that Jesus gave his life for. The poor that Jesus suffered on the cross. Because the poor, they are the one that receive the message mostly. It's the same poor that you telling me the government of this day, Muhammad Buhari government. Terrorizing every warren. The poor are there with their, in their farms. The, the Fulanese has men. We come over. We destroy their crops. We share the innocent blood of these people. Nobody should speak out. Why? When Buhari is nonchalant, showing, putting up nonchalant attitude about all the killings. Instead of tagging the has men terrorists, he, re he refused. And what he has to say that the has men, they need God to protect themselves. So the poor farmers that are killing, the people that are killing, the people that are kidnapping, are they not human beings? Because you have an escort that protects you 24 hours. They are there by you. You are secured. If the life is you so much and you so much believe in the faith which you are preaching, why are you going on with Nigeria? Why are you going on with escort? Why are you going on with, with security? Let's not deceive ourselves, Kumuyi. Let's not deceive ourselves. Be not this God is not mock. Whatever any war so he shall reap. This government has brought poverty. He has brought terror upon the people. The, it is a prophet that's supposed to stand up and to speak out. You went to see Buhari. What did you, what advice did you give to him? You went to ask a rock. You went to see him man to man, face to face. Kumui, what advice do you offer to Buhari? What do you see? Do you caution him of the things that are going on? Government are showing natural attitude towards the killing and the shedding of the blood of the innocent. Government who hated one tribe of people, or even the Yorubas, hated the Yorubas, hated the Igbos, hated other people, but his own people he protects. And the same people, the same man, the same government you are supporting. Because it's not affecting you. Let me remind you, do you know in that northern part of the country, one of your coordinators, a lady, was beheaded? What do you say about it? Is it because it not happened to you? You are preaching holiness, holiness, holiness without that no man shall see the Lord. People are killing the members of your church. You cannot say anything against it. You cannot call the government to order because there is no security. The, 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 the country is porous. It's anarchy. 
that is working in that country? Who are we going to attribute all the killing? Why are we attributing this blame upon him? He has, he has, he has spoken nothing about all this evil, but rather supporting the, terror, the terrorists. He's supporting the headsmen, the flaming headsmen, that they should go with their guns. And why other citizens living in fear? Why can't Nigeria practice a kind of ranch system of agriculture, a ranch system where the animals be faced like the developed world? They are not allowed. I can, I've never seen the developed world where they allow cattle to be to 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 constitute uh, uh, he, to, to constitute nuisance to the societies. To the rural areas, to the cities, you carry cattle going all over the world, causing accidents on the road, going to the farms, raping the mothers, raping their daughters, killing men, innocent villagers for no for, for nothing's sake. And you the, the government cannot tag this group of people as terrorists. But the people that came out to say that they need their own country prefer, he did not waste time to tag them terrorists and to stop all the activities that they should not. So it's a seed from the country, Nigeria, and we are there. You, are, you even the so-called the vice president, Osi Bajo, is there. He's not even doing anything. He's just there running errors for the for, for the cabals. And you have the gut to say that they should not talk about you. Are reading only the places you cannot finish up the scripture in verse three to say that for rulers who are not terrors, for rulers who are not terror to to good works. But to the evil, this man is terror to good words. He's terror to people. The people is supposed to condemn. The people is supposed to tag as terrorists. He refused. He secured his own people. But any other tribe, he's the one he will go against. Look at poverty everywhere. What is it doing? What has it done? The killings of the Christians, what has it done? The blood that be shed in that country, what have they done that nobody should speak out because you are protected, because you are going with escort, because you, you think they cannot touch you? And what about if they can't keep on killing, who will be a member of your church that you cannot speak out of this, this time around and say this government that forcing their, himself upon the, upon the citizens? Buhari didn't win the election. It is very clear. The, the case is in the court. So if if everybody keep moot, if everybody keep quiet in this issue, who will speak out? Oh yeah, we are whole, we are we are running a race to heaven. Holy holiness, 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 holiness. Yes, nobody you want you don't want to die. You are going with escort, so the poor should be killed, and the poor that will be dying and dying in the expense for the you know the why the the the, the, the rich men, the general of Assyrians, the general the general superintendent. You are people you people to be alive. Why the poor should be dying? Is it is it what is it what the Bible is teaching us? This man has come to oppress the poor, and it is inacceptable to our Maker, to our God. That is why we should not hear to doubt. In Proverbs chapter 21, verse 13. Let's open the Bible to Proverbs chapter 21, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 13, so that we can also read the scripture and see what the Bible is telling us. Not one word else, because he's a respected preacher all over the world, and he's a holy teacher. He has gone to ask, uh, 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 ask Rock to see the man. What you're going to see, Buhari, what, what impact has he made in the country? What impact? You, we have to... We have to get leaders that we protect the poor, not the leaders that we see evil going on and they close their eyes because it's not affecting them. It's not affecting their family. It's not affecting any anyone behind them. They, 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 they think that the people they are killing, they, they, they are ants. They are foul. They have no blood. They have no water in their body. In Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13. Whosoever stopped his ear at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. You see what the Bible is saying. If you stop your ears from hearing the poor, your self, God will make you to cry. All of you that are not hearing the, 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 the cry of the poor to intervene and to plead to this man, if he's in, 
if he's incompetent, that he should step down, let another person come in. You cannot say such a thing because it's not affecting you. They come, they pay their tithe, they pay their offering. Your school is one of the most expensive schools. The poor are there, no one to educate them. But we all preach holiness, holiness. The people are being trapped down in the hospitals. No money to pay to pay their hospital fee. No one cares. No general person cares about this. See the poor, the, the, the how, how how people are suffering from malnutrition in that country. How many of you and indulge to feed the poor? All you need to do, we talk about holiness with mouth. The Bible says in First John chapter three, verse twenty-two, we we know. I, we know that he heareth us because we keep his commandment and do those things which are pleasing in his sight. What are the things that are pleasing in the sight of God? Care for the poor, care for the needy, care for the widow, care for the children unable to go to school. How many children have you given scholarship? How many children have you given scholarship? Do you even make your school? Do you, do you, do you make it? Do you make? Do you make it possible for the poor to go? The amount, the, the, the government schools are even cheaper than your school. But all of us, we are teaching holiness and righteousness. God shall judge everyone according to his work. But what I do, I do not want to take that you are coming up to say that nobody should talk about, that everybody should keep quiet. Where the poor are being killed, keep quiet. Where the poor are being slaughtered, keep quiet. Where things are not going right, keep quiet. Then who will speak on the behalf of the poor? Where all of you fail to take up the horns on the held and able to defend the poor, whom the Lord Jesus Christ came and died for and defended, defended them on the cross, gave himself for them. But in your own time, everybody is consigned with his own pocket. Everybody is consigned. We are self-centered people, self-centered preachers, egoist preachers who do not care for the poor, who do not care for the masses, who do not care for our congregation, provided they come and give us our tithe and offering. And the ones that do not give their, their tithe, we threaten them that they will not enter heaven. As if it's, it is tithe that determines who is going to make heaven or not. Shame unto all of these general overseers who cannot speak out the evil that is going on, being wrecked into that country. Kabas take over the government of the country. No one can speak out uh, because we, 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 feel, we feel that everything is okay. It's, uh, since it's okay for us, we don't care about the poor. We don't care about the people. We don't care about others. Whatever they're, they're facing, they have to bear it. But on their own, we come in there to preach to them holiness, holiness, holiness. That holiness, we are not leaving it out. It's not because you're quiet that makes it to be holiness. It's not because you're not fighting that makes it to be holy. Oh, we are teaching holiness because I can. What about the poor, the poor people around you? What have you done to change their life? What have you done to show that you are really man of god that you have heard you have contributed to 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 you have contributed to feed the poor or to care for those who do not have the privilege or the on on the privileged people what have you done to change their life with all the millions all the millions that you make every sunday all the millions you people make in every uh, weekly meetings and what you're coming up to say that they should keep dying that way die in silence Suffering and smiling, nobody should speak out. In when we say we're in the era of democracy, so we should always do the Bible. If the government is is they are not good, you speak out. The the Bible is saying that the government who care for the citizens, who punish the evil doers, who stop the kidnappers, who stop armed robbers, who stop the people that are doing evil, you should not speak against such government. That care about his people, that paying the under under undergraduates, the government that's not stealing the the national cake alone and pocketing it alone and going to to the overseas and putting all the money in the bank for the use of their families, so that their generation can never be poor. We cannot speak out. We cannot say when we all this is when we see these things are going. All the money that rooted in the country they recovered. What have they used the money to do? The prophet that ha, the prophet that come is supposed to come out to caution these leaders and to tell them to take care of the people. All the, the money that became for the country, the undergraduate, the, the graduates that are roaming on the streets, unemployed. What do you expect the young men to do? The young ladies to do? Millions of them graduate from schools yearly. 
the uh, meeting the ones that are not, are not um, that are not yet employed no no light for one to have no light in the country no 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 consistent light that we 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 encourage um self 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 fund employment no light nothing to write home about because you people are comfortable you mean that every other people should keep quiet so that the poor is being oppressed nobody cares we are not gonna keep quiet it is good it, it you have you have arrived but others have not arrived we can speak out that is not the way to true holiness holiness is someone who has the fear of god who know who speak out when he see others being oppressed that the millions of dollars generated by the country they cannot take care of, of the youths but you are crying of kidnappers we are crying of arm robbery we are crying of rituals we are crying of yahoos because the government failed to take care of their people go to saudi arabia go to other developed country where their youth graduating from school that have no job the government have a particular amount they used to pay for this youth until they're able to fund themselves or to do something or to be self-employed or to do something that we help them or to involve in or engage themselves in bills that that will help them to be independent but here in that country it is not like that all you need to come to the church you must be holy oh without holiness no one shall see the lord are you doing are you practicing what you're preaching who will speak out if everybody close their eyes who will talk to the government who will tell them that the stealing is too much that they have stolen all the money all the money all the national cake they're backing up for their own use and the crime the rate of crime is is is, is at its apex but no one cares all our preacher coming dead to show not to speak against the dignity so of every country that they are situated government god is situated and god placed them where they are god did not place a terror to come and terrorize the 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 the, the, the poor god can never do that it is not god as god have some men he called to preach his word devil has also have some men he, he came to deceive the people as God have uh, ordained government that will take care of the poor, also devil ordained government that take care of, that oppress the people. So what are we talking about? If it's the government that ordained by God, that government will, will, will suit everybody. The Bible says when the wicked is on the throne, the people cry. The people cry. God cannot raise up Kumuyi. God cannot raise up a government that can terrorize his people. God cannot raise up. I want to challenge you. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 17 to 19. Let's open our Bible. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. Let's see what the Bible says in this place. Let's see what the Lord has for us in this place. We shouldn't let any worry because they then they serve. They have their own, they have protected their serves. They are going with escort. We see it here. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false weakness, deceit. There is the, there is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is healthy. The leaf of the truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. That is what the Lord is saying here. So we see it, we have seen it clearly in the Bible. So the lying tongue. So if you know the truth and you refuse to speak the truth, you are lying. That is what it means. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 39. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 39. Let's see also what the Bible says in, uh, in this place. And us, we know what the Lord is teaching us today so that we're not going to let any worry to deceive us. We're not going to let any worry to come and tell us, ah, you, have to keep, you have to keep quiet while you are suffering. Who is going to speak out? For the people who is gonna speak out for for the poor who is gonna tell this government that they are a, they are they, they, they are they 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 have they are pressing the people they are pressing the poor they are pushing them to the war who will do that if not if not the people that 
if not the people that have the fear of God, the people that have the feeling, the people that have the human feeling in, in their hearts that this, this government is not favoring us, but the government is doing everything to destroy the people of God. So we ought to be careful. Whatever we are doing and whatever we are saying, we have to cry out and tell the wicked of their evil ways. In Isaiah chapter 58, read for verse 1. Cry, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and they like to know my words as a nation that did righteousness, and forsake not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take their delight in approaching to God. I see what they're saying. Cry out. Tell them. Tell them where, where, where they have ail, where they are oppressing the people, where, where they are bursting the money of the mercies, where they are oppressing the mercies. We have to cry out to, to tell them the truth. It's not that we're going to say that God, God cannot situate any, any government that become a terror to his people, become a terror to the poor. Where the wicked is in, the, in, is in authority, the people cry, the people mourn. But when the righteous is there, the people re rejoice. Is it God that, is it God that put in the government of terror or the government, the government where people cry or the government where people rejoice? Is it God the call of the wicked to oppress the people? Is it, is it God, the God of heaven, the one that so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life? Is it the one that will give us an oppressor, a, a terror, as a government that will oppress the poor, or he will send someone that is, right, that is righteous, that the people will rejoice? Is it God happy to delight and see people suffering? Is it God? Is it God that delights in oppression? Is it God that delights that people should be suffering and uh, uh, be in pains and uh, 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 living in abject poverty? No food, no, no, good, no good health care, nothing. Is it God, is it God that ordains such government? Let's ask ourselves the truth. Let's ask ourselves the truth. Let's ask ourselves the question. Is it government, is it God that will raise up such government? Who will see evil and we close the eye to evil? You who will practice tribalism, nepotism. Is it government? Is it God that we raise we, we establish such a government? Is it God that establish such a government that are bezeling the all the money, the funds of the people? Say that they are, they are fighting corruption. They themselves are the head of corruption. Is it God that, that will raise up a government of deception? Is it, God, is it God that will raise up such that we come and be tormenting his people and the, 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 the poor are crying and we are saying everybody keep quiet. We have to be, we have to respect, we have to be uh, submit ourselves to rulers that do not care for the masses. Is it God that raises up our devil? Never raise up governments. If you don't know, no true no, God. God is not involved in Nigeria government because blood are being shared. God does not involve in anything that is shedding of blood. Why are you talking as if you are ignorance of what is going on in the country you you are uh, you, you, you 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 came from? In the country you 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 have a great congregation. You have you you have a great a great a good number of people. That are coming to your to, to your ministry, where you are shepherding as a pastor, and you're telling the people that they should not speak out. If if you tell you know, if everybody should keep mood in this occasion, in you know keep mood toward the evil that are going on, who is gonna speak? Who will be the speaker? Who will arise as Jeremiah of our time? Who will arise as Michael of our time? Who will arise? To challenge this government, who arise as Elijah of our time, to call the government to order, to call the government that they should change and bring change and bring joy to the people. So, don't just come out to talk because you want to talk. We all know the Bible. Read the Bible the way it should be read. God does not support the government that terrorizes the poor. As simple as that. God never supports any government 
that making the poor to weep, to cry. God does, is not in support of such government. God does not situate that government. That is the true word. Let's be sincere to ourselves. God cannot give evil to anyone. God cannot tempt anyone with evil. He cannot bring evil upon his people, upon his servants. He can never do that. His devil that situated that government of Nigeria is not God. Let's not deceive ourselves. Cry out. Let them change. That man is incom incom incompetent. He cannot handle anything in that country. He has to step down. The God has to raise up a man of his heart, like he rose up David and a good, as many good leaders in the land of Israel. God can do it in that country. That should be our prayers and not coming up to say that nobody should talk. As if everybody is, is, everybody is okay. Everybody is satisfied. Everybody, every, 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 everybody is satisfied with what is going on. If you are satisfied, people, masses are crying. Masses are suffering. People are suffering. People are dying daily. People are being killed. People are in pain. Therefore, I do not support, I do not embrace that idea that your message is not for this government. Pray more that God will give you a better message. Don't just wake up with a prayer and come in to preach what God did not send you to do. You have to, if you fail to speak out, let other God raise up people that will speak out for the poor, that will speak out. We must continue to talk. We must continue to hit the point that this government has failed Nigerians. The government has failed everybody. This government has brought shame to the country. He has, he has no regard for human blood, for human, for, 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 for human being. We are being killed. We are being kidnapped. We are being searched. We are being oppressed. We are, we are being maltreated as, as strangers, not even indigenous or citizens of such a country. And you want us to keep quiet because on Sundays people will come and give their offering. They'll come and give their tithe. Things are going on with you. You're going with escort. You're, 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 you're protected. Your families are protected. The poor are there suffering it. We must all speak out. Don't keep quiet. We must speak out at the same time. Pray to God that God will raise up a man after his heart that will come and take up the government of Nigeria. The government of Nigeria is not situated by God. It's the government that's situated by the devil. His devil that is in that, in that seat. It's not God. God can never bring a leader that will bring pain. If you tell me that it's God has situated the government of America, the God has situated the, um, uh, the, the government of Europe, Spain, Italy, uh, France, Germany, where the, 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 the government care for the, their citizens, and every other part of the world where the government care for the poor, care for the citizens, I would say yes, we must obey them because God raised them to punish the evildoers and to praise the good the good ones that they have no time to punish the good ones but encourage the good ones but all the people that are law breakers the people that are that are evil are the people that are punished but in nigeria the good people are being punished nobody cares for the citizens and you're saying that everybody should keep moot about it we are not going to keep where you have fallen ask god to restore you back that is my message to you be restored back again. You are not the Kumuyi of 80s that people used to know. If you don't want to involve yourself in politics, don't want to say anything, let the people speak their mind. Don't come and don't come and ask them not to speak their mind for words. Don't come and are you the one to speak for the people? If you're okay by yourself, others are not okay. They have right to come and speak for themselves. Everybody has right to talk out. We are in the era of democracy. We have to practice what we say we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are practicing. When, it, we, everybody, when everybody is okay, nobody will speak. So that is what I have to answer you in this, in this, in, your, in, my, in the message you brought out to caution the people to put everybody in fear and the subjection of a tranny. We cannot take it. It's in an unacceptable and we cannot accept such things we must continue to speak until changes come thank you my viewers see praying that god will raise a great leader that will come and the people will smile and the people will rejoice rather than the government that we oppress the people that make the people cry make the masses cry that is my 
my contribution let everybody keep praying and keep praying that god will raise up a leader and let that leader be arrested by god let that leader be the one after the heart of god that we have the fear of god that we lead the people to their promised land may god bless you as you listen to my messages today i love you all and i will keep uploading wonderful messages and world transforming message that will help you to build your spiritual life and to be dynamic in the in your face you don't just say because you're gentle that is holiness gentleness is not holiness holiness is the ability to live uncompromising life and to serve god with all your heart with all your soul with all your might with all your intelligence with all that is in you and you keep the way of the lord for the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom may god bless you all in jesus mighty name i pray amen bye